welcome if you are new. Uh, today we are celebrating spring by doing a fun little spring reading slash other things vlog. Um, which is kind of ironic because it is literally snowing right now. But it is officially spring now. So we're going to celebrate the fact that it's spring and hopefully the snow will go away quickly. Um, the book that you saw me reading earlier was, what's it called? A Wizard's Guide to Defensive Baking by T. King Fisher. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I really, really enjoyed it. It was very cozy. It's cozy fantasy, basically. It's about this girl, and she's a wizard, but only when it comes to, um, like, bread. Her kingdom is being attacked. People who have magic are being attacked, and she has to use her bread to save everybody. And it's very cute, and it's very sweet, and she learns a lot of lessons about herself and how she still has worth and talent, even if it's only in bread, and that that can still be helpful. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed it. Penny is teething. She just cut her second tooth, which is crazy. She cut her first tooth, like, last week, so she's already got two, and she's been really sad. She's asleep in her car seat because we went to my sister's house to visit her, um, so she fell asleep in the car and I'm just going to let her keep sleeping because she's been so sad. So yeah. And then the painting that I'm working on was the paint by numbers that I started, if you've been around for a while then you might know it. I started it quite a while ago when I was pregnant with her. Um, and I'm finally getting around to finishing it. So I need to do a couple more coats on that, but I'll probably work on it a little later and show you the end result. But, right now, I am going to read further into this. I've kind of just read the introduction. It's called The Period Repair Manual. Um, it's by Laura Bryden. And basically, it's just about like understanding your menstrual cycle and how to have better, healthier periods. So, I have got this and my mild liners. And I'm going to grab a pen. And I'm going to get into it, and I think I'm just going to kind of read and annotate, and I don't know how much I'm going to read of it. Like, I don't think I'm just going to sit down and read the whole thing or anything right now, uh, but I am going to just start getting, getting into it. So yeah, also, my shirt, I don't know if you can really tell, says, Love Like Jesus, and it is from Fox and Pebble on Instagram, in case you're wondering. I really like her page. She has really cool art and stuff. Um, I have some artwork for Penny's room that is from her, too. So, yeah, I got this. I want a discount code, and so I was like, hey, I'm gonna buy a shirt. So, I really like it. It's very cute. It's very high quality. Anyway, I'm gonna try and read some of this before Penny wakes up, so that I can actually do it.
into this and I just wanted to talk about why I'm reading it in the first place um because I realized that I didn't really explain that and like what that has to do with springtime the reason that I'm putting it in this vlog for spring because is because I don't know in my mind I'm I always think like springtime is the time to like get healthy again or um focus on health more just because it's like you can go outside more and do more of those fun type exercise things and I have been on a mission to improve my health and I kind of struggle and I've been working on it because before I got pregnant I was really underweight and I really had a hard time gaining weight I was able to have a healthy pregnancy and after my pregnancy I've had a really hard time with having good nutrition and stuff like that and so I just really want to have a healthy body um, and healthy relationship with food and a big part of that is having a healthy period because I have struggled with having really really heavy periods for a long time and hormonal birth control has not been helpful to me at all and so I wanted to explore the world of kind of more natural methods when it comes to your period and um, pregnancy prevention and things like that and so um, a friend of mine recommended this book to me and so far I am enjoying it and I do like the way that it is written and it does have like scientific sources listed and stuff and I do appreciate that it is definitely very heavy-handed in that it is like if you're taking hormonal birth control you need to stop right away and you need to do it this way and I do understand why but I think that that could turn some people off to this um but for me that's what my goal is so it doesn't bother me I am enjoying it so far it's pretty long 327 pages um so it goes through different sections of like um understanding there's three three parts oh there's just two parts the first part is understanding your period and the second part is treatment so um yeah I think that it's definitely an interesting one I am having a good time with it so far and I will be going through it and annotating it and probably tabbing it when I come across like tips or things that I want to remember or use or bring up with my doctor or stuff like that. So I think that it is really good for all women to understand their periods and understand how it affects their bodies. Um, sometimes it just gets pushed under the rug and the menstrual cycle is a key aspect of women's health. So I think it's really important to explore that and understand your period and understand what works best for you so yeah i am looking forward to reading a bit more of this i think i might read a bit more of this and probably finish up my painting i might finish my painting while penny's asleep so that i can actually do it and then and then read this um but yeah i'll check in with you later and show you my finished painting and i will probably be listening to my audiobook of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen because that also feels very springtimey to me. So I'll see you later. Okay, so I thought I would show you my finished painting. She turned out pretty good. Like, I'm pretty happy with this. I won't show you super close up because close up it doesn't look great, but from far away, pretty good. I think I'm gonna end the video here. So thank you for joining me on this reading vlog slash random conglomeration of events. Tell me what you would like to read um, in spring and what are your favorite spring activities? It's still pretty snowy and cold. <laughs> so I think we're going to have a cozy day in, but that's okay. That is okay. Maybe I will start another painting because I actually have three more of these that are different like patterns one of them is at my mom's house because we do it at craft night and the other two are here so i might start another one who knows have a great day i will see you in my next one bye